Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Event Worldwide, and we are on May 28th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at amazing images of our sun today. This is showing the last two days of imagery. Largest event being the X 2.8 class solar flare from the incoming very large and active sunspot region. Same sunspot region that produced all the X-class solar flares just a week and a half ago. Still some amazing images here coming through as all those plasma loops are just drilling in and out of that sunspot region. Looking at outgoing imagery here. A couple plasma filaments snapping away. One coronal mass ejection as observed since yesterday. Having a look at multi-spectrum, largest event being the X-class solar flare, as well as some activity antipode, opposite side of the sun, and as well the northern sunspot region. And right now we've got multiple plasma filaments dancing across the surface of our sun right now, keeping an eye on those over the next 24 to 48 hours. And as well, that active sunspot region turning in right now amongst the eight sunspot regions. There are over 50 sunspots right now on our sun. And at 171 angstroms here, we are showing nine sunspot regions. Let's put these maps into motion and get to see the surface of our sun in fluid motion as these sunspot regions come through. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. There's that X-class solar flare. Space weather conditions right now, there are none to speak of. Solar winds are coming in at 319 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux in a heightened sea range and has been hanging and buzzing around there since the X-class solar flare. Solar proton flux steady and low. Geomagnetic activity is low as well. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center, they have not changed their prediction from yesterday's spiral here. Still showing the same thing in a possible glancing blow 30th into the 31st of May. Little green circle on the right hand side of these spirals is Earth. They've also put in the most recent CME seen here, taking off towards Mercury and Venus, as they are being seen right now in Lasco 3 coronagraph wide spectrum. Orange circle there being Mercury, green circle being Venus. Got some alignments happening right now. Having a look at LASCO 2, showing the last two days of imagery. There's the big CME from the X-Player. And then watching the final images before that southern CME. We did have a sun-diving comet from the same region coming in at the bottom part of your screen. Right after that big CME with the X-Player. There's this, actually there was a couple sun-diving comets there. And then boom. Boom big southward CME on our sun. Now let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Largest being a 5.9 earthquake here. Sinabang, Indonesia, 18 kilometer depth. Lots of activity across the Philippines plate and Pacific plate right now. Thoughts of prayers going out to everybody in Papua New Guinea. Lots of earthquakes there and landslides. Over 2,000 people have perished through the region. Devastating landslides. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there. Earthquake, Japan, and as well, Taiwan. 4.6 there, Marianas Trench. A couple deep earthquakes in the Tonga region. Fiji Islands, 577 kilometer depth, and as well, 499 kilometer depth. Quieting down through Alaska. Increasing activity here through Texas. Toya, Texas, reporting a 4.1 today. Small swarm continues through the region. 
and as well a 4.0 here in San Vincent, Mexico. No major swarms to talk about right now. Puerto Rico, residual activity, largest being a 4.0 north off the island. Quiet across the South American plate, only reporting a 4.2 here. Argentina, which is a pretty rare place to report an earthquake. I don't normally report them there. African plate is quiet. Most of the activity, West Pacific plate. Right now, USGS is reporting just over 220 earthquakes in the 24-hour period. Let's give you a glance at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Give you an update on how our planet is doing here through the beginning of solar cycle 25. And as well, getting ready to jump into the summer solstice month, months. This is the last seven days. Largest being the 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake reported in Fiji two days ago. But peculiar activity across the Indian plate. And as well, all around the North American plate. Now let's have, speak, speaking of North America, let's have a quick look here at confirmed tornadoes already. 866 tornadoes in the 2024 season. United States just being devastated so far by over 800 earthquakes. Three of them being F3s. And look at this graph showing the last 20 years for tornadoes. We are on a mean streak and start almost the second strongest start since 2011 when we reported the most tornadoes recorded in one day, April 27th, 2011. Now let's have a look at our upper level winds. This is our planet today. Winds over 30,000 feet. That is depicting our southern polar vortex, sucking in all of this equatorial moisture. That's right, all that equatorial moisture being whipped up into the southern polar vortex right now. And where's the south pole? We've got our magnetic south, and then we've got this big spinning vortex following our magnetic field. Here's our regular magnetic north pole. And that is where our polar vortex is sitting. Very interesting and peculiar days indeed. I've been documenting and sharing these visuals with y'all for the past seven years as we've gone through these changes together. Quick glance around the world and then Northern Hemisphere right now. And this all flips the other way when we go into our winter months. Now I wanted to share here with you amazing satellite imagery, NASA Worldview, Zoom Earth, showing satellite imagery and some massive storms brewing across Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, Albuquerque, New Mexico, now, these forecast extreme conditions have been forecasted for the past week, and this will continue over the next few days as very warm Pacific moisture is coming up from the Gulf and a very cold, dense, high-pressure ridge is slipping down from the, from the north. Hudson Bay right now just covered in fog, and the moisture has lingered all across Ontario for the last few days. It'll be nice to get a break in which it's coming. Having a look here at the most extreme weather predicted here over the next few days. Most of it is through central United States, Mexico, Texas. And through Tornado Alley, long range forecast, this will continue. Having a look here at North American systems for the next seven days. Big low pressure center moving into the Canadian prairies will bring stormy conditions and as well some well needed moisture. Strong system whipping through parts of eastern Canada in the long range. And that will bring some extreme weather. As well possible here, Atlantic storm developing in the long range. That could be the first. And a very large system moving through eastern Canada. Other than that, no major changes since last night's update, but I did want to share here with you the Southern Hemisphere. 
showing the low pressure systems that bring rain and the high pressure systems that dry things out. Interesting moisture sweeping across parts of southern Australia this week. And some very large low pressure systems developing south of Africa. Stay tuned as I will keep you updated with the most latest models anytime there is extreme weather, especially when it comes to waves. We could see some very strong waves there in the southern tip of Africa. And as well, heading up into Alaska, as all these systems are about to change track, high pressure ridge will be diminishing here over this long range forecast overlooking the North Pacific. A lot of strong systems heading across Alaska and into northern BC, and they're going to start slipping south here. Looks like May 5th into the 6th, that high pressure ridge finally squeezes away. Much love, everybody. Hope you stay safe and healthy out there. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.